Mike's been starving. Let's call it a night. Ha, oh, this is so stupid. I'm sick and tired of all this Christmas stuff. What's everyone so happy about? I wish all this Christmas spirit would just go away. Wait, stop, Noble. Don't grant that wish. Hey, Emmett, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have blown up at you like that. Emmett? Don't worry about it. I mean, you're right. Christmas is pretty ridiculous when you think about it. Well, yeah, I guess. Come on, let's just get this wagon thing over with. If I can't pull this wagon by myself, whatever! Tell Mr. Miller you're robbed or something. Unless we want to keep all our stuff to ourselves. What? What are you saying? We can't take toys from orphans. See ya. Emmett, where are you going? Emmett! Wait a sec. What did you just say? Which part? About the wish. Oh, I was just saying that Christmas vanished so fast, it's as if somebody wished for it to go away. But who would make such a wish? I did. I didn't mean to, really, but I did. I wish that Christmas spirit would go away. But I didn't think it would really happen. I wish Christmas spirit would come back. Carter, my friend. I wish it was that easy. Unfortunately, the Santa Pups granted the wish, so they're the only ones that can reverse it. Ah! It's showtime. Um, hello, Pineville. This is Carter. And this this is, is the annual, annual Christmas, Christmas radio show. A tradition started by our grandfather over 60 years ago. And made special by our mom, Michelle Reynolds. My sister and I are here to carry on the tradition. Well, you see, this, this is all my fault. Order! Order, this is the ridiculous. Order in the court! This isn't even a neck brace. This isn't, it's an upside down doggy Did you fish. believe him? You were negligent and didn't shovel the sign. After my mom passed away, well, it didn't feel like it was right to celebrate. So I did this. Carter? I don't know how exactly, but I did. I made you all feel the way you do. Because I wish that Christmas spirit would go away. And it did. It's like a flu. A Christmas flu. It spread from me, to the people I met, to the people they met. And I know that my mother were here. She'd want us all to be happy. And celebrate Christmas with the people we love. And to remember by her by keeping the spirit of Christmas alive in Pineville. I love you, Ted. You too, son.